Today we're checking out this three owner 1970 Oldsmobile Cutlass convertible. Beautiful car with some nice modern upgrades to make this thing really a joy to drive. Yeah, it sure is, Dalton. And this one here is uh, supposedly an original 455 car. It's powered by a non-numbers matching 455 four barrel. And I'll tell you what, this thing has some serious balls. Yeah, it's really fast. Tons of torque on this one. Um, they took a, a stock 455 and went ahead and upgraded some nice stuff in there. And uh, this thing will really set you back in your seat. Uh... Cold start, no pump. Yep. That engine sounds great. Drive it up once, D. One more time, bud. What a gorgeous car. And this color, like I said in our ad or description, you really have to be right on top of this and you gotta see it in person to, to really appreciate it. In some lights, it's like a, a green metallic. Some, it's like kind of a charcoal gray. Mm -hmm. There's almost like a little blue to it. It's a stunning color. And it's hard to believe that this was painted 25 years ago and still looks this nice. Awesome. The first and second owner, the first owner, um, Bought this probably late 69, early 70. And I don't know if it was a lease or what, but turned it in and turned it right back in. And the second owner bought this in 1970. So he had it for a long time. And then this, uh, the third owner, um, according to all our information, purchased it and has owned it for 30, 35 years plus also. So a uh, very nice car. Uh, we were told it was a factory 455 car. It still has a 12 bolt in it. Still has all the box control arms, all that kind of stuff. Um, was a factory four-speed car. Uh, previous owner had taken that out and put a six-speed Tremec in it, six-speed mm -hmm. manual. And um, then he uh, got some health issues and ended up taking the six-speed out and putting a four-speed overdrive in it because uh, he couldn't shift it anymore. So that's the history and, and the story that we were told on this beautiful 1970 Cutlass S convertible. Uh, let's check out the rest of the car. As we talk about its options, it has power steering, power front disc brakes, working air conditioning. Uh, as far as underneath the hood, it does have a valve shut off on the heater core, just so it goes ahead and um, when you run that air, you know, I don't know if that factory valve or something was wrong on it. D, I think that's what the previous owner had said. So um, it's got a manual shut off on that now. The front bumpers appears to be original, but the chrome is beautiful on it. A couple little scratches. Front grille looks great. Gorgeous gap on that passenger side. And as you look in the fluorescent lights here, you can just see that beautiful metallic. And I see what you're talking about. In the right shade, it does have a blue hue to it as well. Oh, it's well. gorgeous, yeah. It's one of the prettier greens that I've seen. Again, I'm gonna use these words. It's not a trailer queen, but it's a show car. Yeah. Don't you say? Especially after 25, 30 years, and this paint still looks like this. That's what the previous owner did with this car, too, is, is took it to a lot of shows. You know, drove it, enjoyed it, um, and drove it to a lot of shows. I love those wheels. Yeah. Those are sweet. These are some one-off wheels. I'll tell you what. It's got Willwood front disc brakes on it, which is awesome. But these wheels, I mean, I don't know the value of these wheels, but uh, the right guy wants them, and they're worth a lot of money. Yeah, I've never, never seen any other ones like it. On um, their 17s also, so 215, 50 17s on the front. The chroma stainless on the side and the bottom is in really good shape. Corner of the door is great. Back of the hood lines up awesome. Top of the door, same way. Uh, windshield all looks good. Here's another very important thing. How many of these cars have you seen, Dalton, these convertibles that, are, that still have the nice vinyl on top? You know, so many times it's just all snagged and bubbly and crappy there. Dalton's gonna go ahead and take this uh, boot off for us. But that interior is all original with the exception of the carpet. You can see in the, the stitching in the seats, you know, they're in excellent shape, but you can just see the age. Um, really tells you the story and how this thing was taken care of its life to still have that original yeah. seat cover. Open up the doors, the dome lights come on like it should. Horn works, tilt wheels, another nice option. Uh, 
And you know what? They did a pretty nice job with that. I think it's a low car shifter. Trying to get that four speed automatic shifter right in that factory four speed console. Um, and check out the condition of the original four speed console. That's an awesome shape as well. Console lid door. We do have a remote in there for the radio. And as you said before, original seat covers. And just look at that. Did you say, did we check the, we didn't check the miles on this one. So we don't know the original miles because it was um, switched over to a, a beautiful digital gauge system. Super nice. Start. Easy. Yeah, it really does. Remote mirror. If you're a cutlass ass. Nice wood grain on the door panels, original. Corner of the door is absolutely perfect. Bottom of the door. Um, rocker panel right here in the very top edge of the rocker panel. You can see just a few little chips along there. Beautiful brown or tan top. Goes up evenly. You have glass back window. This car looks great with the top up as well. As Chad goes and heads and, and latches that. Let's go around it. Top looks, looks excellent. Almost looks brand new. How's it look? Looks fantastic. That's classy, isn't it? I mean, if a guy, you know, usually you see a black or a white top, but that is really classy with that tan with the, the, the green interior. Yeah, it is. Looks very nice. I'm going to go ahead and unlock it and we'll just take it down and show them how it works going down. Yeah, nice glass back window. Got a little paint imperfection right here. Paint crack right there. They lock nice and easy too, as far as the top goes. Yeah. The chrome is insane. This is gorgeous around the area. While you do that, I'll kind of go to the back here. Uh, back bumper is in excellent shape. The chrome is gorgeous. Dual exhaust tips come out really nicely there. Beautiful chrome and stainless here. All the way around. Nice even gap. You just don't see these cutlasses very often. You know, a lot of Chevelles and, and uh, GTO, Le Mans convertible, stuff like that. But this, is, uh, this one's kind of in a league of its own, isn't it? Yeah, it is. They're such neat cars too, the gentleman's muscle car. Yeah, I like that. Um, we kind of showed the uh, front bucket seats for a little while, but like Dalton was saying, just a little bit of the stitching. It's not broke through or anything, it's just one of the little stitches here. Um, you can just kind of tell it's original interior still, in very nice shape. As we go in here, the inside of the seat is awesome. Carpet's been replaced, other than that, original seat covers, I think. All looks good. Got a little uh, plug in for our radio here. Beautiful dash. C works as far as our uh, radio uh, antennas in the windshield. Wipers work good. Four speed automatic transmissions, put the button down and go. And like I said, we drove this one. Um, we have a video of this coming off the trailer. We took it for a little spin before we got all that snow. So um, please, you know, we can, if you need to see it going down the road, just ask one of the guys. We can make sure we get that to you. But this thing had a lot of power, didn't it, D? Yeah, it did. It was impressive. Uh, all the rubbers and stuff, really nice shape. It looks like when they repainted it, they did go ahead and replace the rubbers and the felts because all that stuff is awesome. Wow, look how 
easy that door closed too. Thanks for doing that, dude. It's an excellent car all the way around. Yeah, la absolutely laser straight here. Um, bottom of the door tucks in perfectly. No bubbles or blisters anywhere that I can see here. If you guys have been watching our website for a, a 70, 71, 72 Cutlass convertible, this one's gonna be really hard to beat, you guys. We don't get them in very often um, at all. So when we get a chance to get them, um, especially with a big block in it, I have a little paint flaw right here. Yeah, I pointed that one out already. And here's the other uh, door. I mean, it just tucks in beautifully, just like it does on the passenger side. Wheels are gorgeous. Uh, 235 60s on the back, 17s. Even all our emblems, I mean, they still look like brand new. I really bet this was kind of a low mileage car when they started, according to that interior. Um, and the way the stainless and trim is on this, it doesn't have that many miles on it. And the, I don't even know if we mentioned it yet, but the stance on this car is absolutely perfect. Yeah, let me back up and take a peek at That's it. That's exactly how I'd want one of these cars to just yeah, say, look at how it's just, yeah, it's just tucked in really nice in that front, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Stunning car. Check this one out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. Put the link down in the comment section. Gorgeous colors.